G'day, I'm Kate Glorock. How are you? Today I am deep in the heart of the Butterwangs and I just thought I'd do a super quick video on how I do my water treatment with my Soya Squeeze. It normally comes with a syringe but I'll show you a tip on how to back flush it without the syringe in a second. But yeah, I sort of just take this guy and I tend to take two of the pouches. I take one uh, which I mark clean and that's for like water hauling if I'm going to camp up on the cliff tops and stuff. And then I take one that's dirty and <clears throat> that's what you put the untreated water in to squeeze it through the filter. There's a little bit of a trick to filling up these pouches. Um, I like to give it a, a little puff of air. I'm not sure if that's too dodgy with this being the dirty water, but I find they feel a lot easier. So what I like to do is sort of put it in. If you put it straight in, the pressure of the water will crush the container. And so what I do is I go in sideways like that slowly. You let it drain in drain in slowly sink the bottom as you get it full of water great that'll do so before I attach the filter I like to sort of squeeze out any excess air it just helps the process a bit screw it on now I've made the mistake of screwing too tight and that pops the o-ring and then you get water flushing out which is potentially dangerous because you're flushing bad water and it could go into your drinking bottle. So just nice and firm but not crazy tight. Then you just squirt it into your vessel and I mean the cool thing with this one is you can actually just drink out of it like a water bottle and I like to sort of roll. So you roll it and then you get your squeezing coming out and you just squeeze it in. You can pop it straight in and turn it. Just show you, see it's coming through nice and fast. This is why I love this method because you can stop quickly at lunchtime, a little creek crossing, boom, get another couple of litres of water and just process it so fast. You don't have to wait for you know your tablets to you know do their magic. It's very easy and simple and quick. The other thing I like to do with this sometimes when I'm treating water for a larger group is um, hook it up to say my camelback or you know my water bladder and use it as a gravity feeder and I'll, I'll, sh I'll throw a photo up about that how I do that but basically all it is is you get your dirty water in a bag above run it through a cord and then the gravity of the water just feeds through and does that process while you're setting up camp and all that makes it pretty easy there we go the other thing I do is when I store them I just whack them in here because you know when you're hiking these things can leak a little. What I tend to do once I'm finished, once again maybe a little bit dodgy putting your lips on the dirty end but I'll just give it a gentle blow. And just push out any excess liquid so you're not hauling that around. Just makes it a touch lighter. Then I sort of fold up my bags, place them in your, your little <clears throat> ziplock just to stop any dribbles from getting into your backpack. There we go. The other thing I've seen online uh, on some videos is people busting the bags and um, I've never had that trouble. Like um, that's why I always take two bags just in case. But I think the issue occurs when people um, perhaps they've got some um, dirt in their filter and they're pushing it so hard. You shouldn't have to push that hard. Um, and so I'll show you in a gif how I back flush it and that'll let the flow rate increase and you'll be, you'll be pumping water and no worries. So um, normally you're pushing the water through this way with the flow and then you get your sort of debris in there. And so what you want to do is push the water back that way and that'll ditch any like sort of impurities that are sitting on the filter head and slowing down that process. So what I do is just take that off and this guy here has this nice little connection which fits perfectly to your sort of drink bladder if you've got one with you. So I just um, take off Ooh, take off your little bite valve, whack it on the front. And then you can just hang it and it could, it'll just gravity flow through or you could, depending on the quality of your bladder, give it a squeeze. See that, the water coming through there, that's back flushing quite nicely. So that'll get rid of your impurities in there and should get a better flow rate after that.